sold the next job is to remove the valve cover and it has two bolts that hold it from the top. I need to remove those two first, which after this uh, hose clamp thingy from here, which after I can lift this up and take it with me. So first things first, gloves. These nuts are ten millimeter. So yeah, need to crack these both loose. Oh, this one is loose already. side as well so we can remove this so I can have this clamp a little bit further away somewhere like that to remove this one, this cable, or something like that, out of the way, because this connector was in the way of here, so I'm gonna remove that and put it aside, and now there's a clean axis pretty much all around, so now I can remove the valve cover itself. And it comes up. What was that? So yeah, under the valve cover was this metallic piece with what has these two spacers so be careful when taking off the valve cover because mine this plate and these spacers were stuck and once I was lifting one of these spacers just dropped under the car so be careful but yeah I'll probably put these two screws back here so it will hold everything in place I need to take this back to the back to the backyard, uh, clean it from the inside, and then outside I need to put some paint remover and some rust remover to get rid of some of this rust. It's the cleaning time process. I'm going to be using some brake cleaner and try to clean it up from the inside.
Frosty. So I need to scrape it away. Now it's in a condition where I can put the rust remover and have all this rust removed on top of it. And it's kind of crazy that the rust was initially like to halfway, but actually it continues. It's kind of crazy that the rust isn't just locally here and here but it's like everywhere so yeah i need to give it a rust remover path so i recommend you to use your oil cap to move around the valve cover just put it in tighten and you can lift it up and move it around you need to. So yeah, use your oil cap if you need to move it in the rust remover process. I used the CRC rust remover with like 50, 1 to 2 ratio. So 50% water and 50% this. So and this is a second coat. So looks to be coming along really good. Now I'm using the angle grinder with the green pad to remove some heavy pitting rust off the valve cover so I can have a nice smooth surface to paint on. Then I'm using the sandpaper to remove all the hard places to get rust away what I couldn't get to with the angle grinder. But yeah, now the valve cover has been cleaned off from the majority rust. What I will clean up, it probably in the future will rust again, but that's that's a later day's problem. But today I'm now going to put some one coat of zinc spray, what follows with two coats of primer white, and then some golden paint, probably two to three coats and then that that will be enough I wanted to get rid of the majority of the rust so it wouldn't rust away again anytime soon but yeah I think this would look shiny quite cool but yeah I will paint it in the gold Here now cleaning the valve cover with some towel wipes, with some soap, for preparation of the paint. And then comes the first coat of the sink spray.
first coat of the white primer. Then second coat of the white primer. First coat of the gold paint. The second coat of the gold paint. Then some touch ups. And now it looks awesome. Now it's the reinstallation process. Then the two knots. Remember to put all the plastics, hoses and electrical plugs back on so the car would function as it should. Now it looks awesome. Thank you for watching. Like and sub to the channel would be an amazing thing so the algorithm would know that I exist. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode of who knows what?